Russian authorities have recently raised concerns by claiming they possess the capability to trigger a volcanic eruption at Yellowstone National Park. This revelation has sparked apprehension among observers due to the potential catastrophic consequences associated with such a large-scale event. Anonymous revealed that the recent announcement was made on a television channel. This revelation brings to light the potential impact and power of such a weapon system. The group revealed that a military expert mentioned that the recently developed missile possesses unique characteristics, specifically the capability to simultaneously deploy a substantial quantity of nuclear warheads. This advanced weapon system is designed with sophisticated technology that enables it to carry out multiple warhead launches efficiently. The military representative emphasized that creating a foolproof defense system is unattainable, highlighting the vulnerability of the United States as a primary concern. This assertion underscores the complexities surrounding the establishment of an all-encompassing defense mechanism. The second crucial aspect to consider is the potential risk posed by the Sarmat missile to one of the most concerning landmarks within the United States, namely the Yellowstone volcano. This threat emanates from the destructive capability of the missile and its potential impact on the geological stability of Yellowstone. After expressing their views, they emphasized that such actions would have the potential to severely weaken America, cautioning United States authorities to choose their words wisely and be mindful of the repercussions that could follow. The implication was clear that the suggested course of action could significantly impact the stability and standing of the nation. The United States Geological Society has explicitly stated that triggering the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone National Park is scientifically improbable. The organization has emphasized that the geological mechanisms involved in activating such a massive volcanic system cannot be artificially induced. This assertion serves as a reassurance against speculations or theories suggesting that humans could purposely initiate an eruption at Yellowstone. In contemplating the scenario of a potential eruption of the supervolcano, it has been highlighted by certain individuals that the presence of inhabitants in this vicinity cannot be overlooked. Regardless of the actual occurrence of such an event, it is undeniable that the ramifications would directly impact the lives of these residents. In Yellowstone National Park, extensive demographic data indicates that the current population exceeds 1,000 individuals residing within the park boundaries. Additionally, a considerable number of individuals have chosen to make their homes in close proximity to the park's borders. Military sources with insider knowledge have expressed concerns regarding the current state of affairs, highlighting a negative outlook on the relationship between the United States and Russia. According to these sources, the situation is deemed highly unfavorable, marking a significant downturn in relations that has persisted for an extended period. The prevailing sentiment within military circles is one of apprehension and unease, as the current dynamics between these two nations are characterized by heightened tensions. Launching any form of projectile, whether it's a missile or another type of weapon, invariably leads to catastrophic consequences. At this juncture, our only recourse is to maintain a sense of optimism and trust that the situation does not escalate to that extent. The notion of triggering a volcanic eruption by detonating a nuclear device within Yellowstone National Park is a topic of scientific debate and speculation. Proponents of the idea argue that the explosive force of a nuclear explosion could potentially rupture the Earth's crust and release the pent-up pressure within the supervolcano, triggering a cataclysmic eruption. However, most geologists and volcanologists dismiss this scenario as highly unlikely citing several factors that mitigate the risk of a nuclear-induced eruption. Firstly, the energy released by even the most powerful nuke is dwarfed by the vast amounts of energy stored within the supervolcano's magma chamber, making it unlikely to have a significant impact on volcanic activity. Furthermore, the structure of the Yellowstone supervolcano is inherently stable, with a thick, impermeable layer of rock covering the magma chamber. While the likelihood of triggering a volcanic eruption by nuking Yellowstone National Park is remote, the potential consequences of such an event would be catastrophic. A super-eruption from the Yellowstone supervolcano would unleash a barrage of volcanic ash, gas and debris into the atmosphere, blanketing vast regions of North America and beyond. The immediate impact of a Yellowstone eruption would be devastating, with widespread destruction of infrastructure, loss of life and disruption of ecosystems. 
The volcanic ash cloud would obscure the sun, causing a volcanic winter that could last for years, leading to crop failures, food shortages, and global climate instability. Moreover, the long-term environmental and economic consequences of a Yellowstone eruption would be felt for decades, if not centuries, as communities struggle to recover and rebuild in the aftermath of the disaster. The eruption could also have far-reaching geopolitical implications, as nations grapple with the social, economic and security challenges posed by a global catastrophe of unprecedented scale. In the context of the United States alone, studies conducted by meteorologists have revealed that in the event of a volcanic eruption during the summer, the aerosols emitted have the potential to disperse globally. This occurrence could have far-reaching consequences, particularly in the short term, as the noxious cloud obstructs sunlight, leading to a considerable drop in global average temperatures. The repercussions of this phenomenon may persist for several years before returning to typical levels. Additionally, there would be a significant decrease in rainfall levels, a situation that could potentially instigate a devastating decline in tropical rainforests. The agricultural sector would face imminent collapse, commencing with regions like the Midwest. Described as the greatest catastrophe since the dawn of civilization by a group of scholars in a 2015 publication on extreme geohazards by the European Science Foundation, this scenario underscores the colossal potential impact of such a catastrophic event. Supervolcanoes such as the one nestled in Yellowstone National Park present a category of threats known as existential risks, events of extreme catastrophic magnitude that have the potential to cause global devastation and even the extinction of humanity itself. These risks can manifest in both natural forms, such as super eruptions or colossal asteroid impacts akin to the catastrophic event that led to the demise of the dinosaurs, as well as through human-made means, like the spectre of nuclear warfare or the creation of engineered viruses. These existential risks, by their very nature, surpass any calamities that humanity has encountered throughout its history, embodying the most severe scenarios imaginable. The Yellowstone Supervolcano located beneath Yellowstone National Park in the United States, is one of the most formidable natural features on Earth. With a caldera measuring over 30 miles wide, this massive volcanic system has the potential to produce eruptions of unprecedented scale and destruction. Although such an eruption is unlikely to occur in the near future, the possibility of a worst-case scenario has long been a subject of scientific study and public fascination. If the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt at its full potential, the consequences would be catastrophic on a global scale, with far-reaching impacts on the environment, economy, and human society. Yellowstone is classified as a supervolcano, a type of volcano capable of producing an eruption of magnitude 8 on the Volcano Explosivity Index, which is the highest possible rating. The most recent of Yellowstone's major eruptions occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, forming the Yellowstone Caldera. This eruption, along with two others that occurred, released massive amounts of volcanic material into the atmosphere and reshaped large portions of the North American landscape. The Yellowstone supervolcano is fueled by a magma chamber located about five miles beneath the surface. This chamber is filled with a mixture of molten rock, partially solidified rock, and gases under extreme pressure. While the magma chamber is currently relatively stable, the potential for an eruption remains, particularly if pressure were to build up within the chamber. In a worst-case scenario, an eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would begin with a series of powerful earthquakes as magma surged toward the surface. These tremors would cause widespread damage to infrastructure and buildings in the surrounding areas, potentially triggering landslides and other secondary disasters. As the pressure within the magma chamber reached critical levels, the ground above the chamber would begin to bulge and crack, eventually leading to a massive explosive eruption. The eruption itself would be characterized by the release of vast quantities of molten rock, volcanic ash and gases, including sulfur dioxide. The eruption column could reach heights of up to 30 miles, injecting ash and gases into the stratosphere. The initial blast would devastate the immediate vicinity of Yellowstone, obliterating everything within a radius of up to 60 miles. One of the most significant and far-reaching effects of a Yellowstone eruption would be the dispersal of volcanic ash across the continent. Prevailing winds would carry the ash eastward, spreading it over much of North America. 
The amount of ashfall would vary depending on distance from the eruption site, but even areas hundreds of miles away could receive several inches of ash. The ashfall would have immediate and severe consequences. The weight of the ash could cause the collapse of buildings, particularly those with flat roofs. The fine, abrasive ash particles would contaminate water supplies, clog air filters, and damage machinery, leading to widespread disruption of essential services. Air travel would be grounded across much of the continent, as ash clouds pose a significant hazard to aircraft engines. In addition to its physical impact, volcanic ash is highly detrimental to human health. Inhalation of ash particles can cause respiratory problems, especially for those with pre-existing conditions. Prolonged exposure could lead to chronic respiratory diseases and other health issues. The ash would also have severe impacts on agriculture, smothering crops and grazing lands, leading to food shortages and economic hardship. The release of vast quantities of sulfur dioxide and other gases into the stratosphere would have a profound impact on the global climate. These gases would form sulfuric acid aerosols, which would reflect sunlight back into space, leading to a significant reduction in global temperatures, a phenomenon known as volcanic winter. The cooling effect of a volcanic winter could last for years, with average global temperatures dropping by several degrees. This would lead to shorter growing seasons, reduced agricultural yields, and widespread food shortages. The impact on global food supplies could trigger famine in vulnerable regions and lead to economic instability and social unrest. The disruption to global climate patterns would also have other far-reaching effects. Changes in precipitation could lead to droughts in some areas and increased flooding in others. The cooling of the oceans could disrupt marine ecosystems, leading to declines in fish populations and further impacting global food supplies. The economic impact of a Yellowstone eruption would be staggering. The immediate damage to infrastructure and property in the United States would run into the hundreds of billions of dollars. The longer-term effects, such as the disruption of agriculture, the collapse of industries reliant on transportation, and the costs of disaster response and recovery, would further strain the global economy. The social consequences would be equally severe. Millions of people could be displaced by the destruction of their homes and the uninhabitable conditions created by ashfall and environmental degradation. The strain on public services, including healthcare and emergency response, would be immense. In the worst-case scenario, the combination of food shortages, economic collapse and social unrest could lead to widespread instability and conflict, both within the United States and globally. As of right now, scientists and researchers have said that the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano in a worst-case scenario would be one of the most devastating natural disasters in human history. The immediate destruction of the surrounding area, the widespread dispersal of volcanic ash, and the global climate impact would result in catastrophic loss of life, severe environmental degradation, and long-term economic and social upheaval. While such an eruption is unlikely to occur in the near future, the possibility remains a sobering reminder of the immense power of nature and the fragility of human civilization in the face of such forces. Preparing for the potential impact of a supervolcano eruption is crucial, not only to mitigate the immediate effects, but also to ensure the long-term resilience of societies in a rapidly changing world.